I drift because that's pretty much all I know how to do. Um, I enjoy it a lot. I've been drifting for such a long time now and I've invested so much into the sport of drifting that I feel like at this point it's kind of too late to back out of it and start something fresh. Um, but it's mainly because uh, I just get a rush from drifting. I'm Ken Gushi. I've been drifting for about 16 years now from Montebello, California and I drive the Toyota Racing Gretti Performance 8.6. Um, when I was about 13 years old, my father and I were watching this VHS tape um, of an anime series called Initial D. And uh, in, that, in that anime series, there's an A86 with a kid delivering tofu. And uh, I, I kind of got hooked on the anime series and told my dad, hey, I want to try this drifting thing. So we, we actually got an A86 and took it to El, El Mirage Dry Lake Bed and started drifting. And uh, so that's kind of how uh, I started drifting. Oh man, you're asking the wrong guy what it takes to win because I haven't won in a few seasons you now, quite a long time, but I know that it takes a hell of a lot, a lot of work, a lot of teamwork, a lot of commitment, and uh, yeah, just a lot of, um, a lot of mental strength. I think a lot of drift, a big part of drifting is you just got to have that mentality to uh, push forward and kind of get all that negative thoughts out of your mind and just go out there feeling like you're going to kill it, kill the game. Times have really changed in pro drifting. I mean, if you would have asked me 20 years ago, like, hey, what do you see in the future of drifting? I would have never imagined a Ferrari or an electric car, so um, it's cool. I, I, I think it's badass that we have such a variety in drifting, such a variety in uh, the types of drivers from different parts of the world, you know, Japan, Ireland, of course the US, Poland, parts of Europe. Um, and I think that, that variety is what makes Formula Drift unique to other series of drifting in the world. I, I think pro drift drivers would do extremely well in other forms of racing because we're so used to working hard under extreme pressure. I'm just gonna go out there and do my best. If it's not enough, then it's just not enough and I just gotta try harder the next event. But more importantly, I wanna go out there and have more fun. You know, it's always been fun, but I just want to really enjoy everything that Formula Drift brings to the table. So I stopped worrying about winning. I stopped worrying about trying to win a championship. And I really started to focus more on uh, having fun behind the seat. And I think uh, that really kind of took a lot of weight off my shoulders. So I'm out here really having fun and enjoying everything that Formula D brings to me.